All right, fans, it's time for another video bell ringer. Come at you right live here from the bunker in H207. Mr. Kovacs class. It's Mr. Kovacs class. You might learn how to talk. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. So we've started reading Lonely Planet, which is a chapter out of a short history of nearly everything written by Bill Bryson. And in that chapter, he talks about kind of how lucky, lucky we are to be in a certain spot in the universe where this seems to be the only place where life exists, at least that we've been able to detect, right? So let's see, for today's bell ringer, I was thinking, here, let's just take a look. did a quick search of Marianas trench organisms, and there are some awesome, that is awesome, look at these guys, all right? So today, uh, ooh, everybody loves the blobfish, the blobfish, right? Um, everybody loves the blobfish. Anyway, my question, I guess, today would be for your bell ringer is, um, you know, in order to survive in the depths of the Marianas Trench, right, seven miles below the ocean, what are some, what are some of the, maybe I'll put it this way. What are some of the issues that you would have if you tried to live at the Marianas Trench with some of these friends here of ours, of all different shapes and sizes and spooky faces? All right, so that's, there he goes. That's an amphipod, that's called an amphipod. All right, so that's your, your bell ringer today. What uh, kinds, what would be the difficulties you would have of, of living in the darkest, deep depths of the Marianas Trench. All right, and we'll get into class today. 